hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering in this video uh, you will learn that how we find the slope and the uh, bottom width uh, for a concrete and a stone masonry retaining wall when uh, we already know the top width of the wall okay so we will uh, learn uh, this for four different walls in both si units as well as the us conventional units okay so first uh, I am taking this uh, PCC wall, okay, uh, its uh, mix is uh, 1 is to 3 is to 6, it's a plain cement concrete wall, okay, so it is having a, a top width of uh, 450 mm and the height for this wall is 3000 mm. We have to find this bottom width which is shown in this uh, wall as 950 mm, we will see how uh, we calculate the, this bottom width as 950 mm, okay. So below the bottom of the wall we lay uh, a plain cement concrete called the mud mate, it's 1 is to 4 is to 8 mix, uh, 100 mm thick and below that we lay the stone soling which is also 100 mm thick, okay. We are uh, concerned with finding the bottom width of the wall, okay. And this is the angle uh, theta okay or the slope of the wall so top width for this wall is 450 mm and always uh, remember that uh, for pcc wall uh, recommended slope uh, which we take for a pcc wall is uh, that is uh, two inch in one feet okay uh, we take a two inch slope in one feet okay we uh, if we move uh, one feet uh, upward uh, we me uh, we move two inch in horizontal direction so slope is two inch in one feet okay so this tan theta if the slope is two inch in one uh, feet okay so tan theta since one feet it is equal to uh, 12 inches okay and uh, uh, you can say rise is one feet or 12 inch okay and in the horizontal direction we are moving 2 inch so tan of theta will be 12 divided by 2 which is 6 tan theta is equal to 6 so bottom width of this wall it will be given as top width okay you can divide the wall into uh, two shapes one will be this rectangle and another will be this uh, triangular so bottom width will be 450 mm it will be constant and bottom width will be uh, 3000 uh, which is the height of the wall divided by tan theta okay which is this portion okay this will be 3000 divided by tan theta so bottom width of the wall will be 450 plus uh, 3000 divided by 6 which is 950 mm which is shown in the figure here okay uh, this is the bottom width when we are considering the slope as uh, two inch in one feet okay we are uh, if are if we are moving one feet uh, uh, in the upward direction we are also moving two inch in the horizontal direction okay similarly you can also find the width at uh, different depths so if we have to find the width at one meter depth so it will be 450 plus 1000 divided by tan theta okay one meter is equal to 1000 mm so 450 plus 1000 uh, divided by 6 which is 616.67 uh, mm will be the width of the wall at 1 meter from the top okay we are considering the height from the top okay so this is if the dimensions are in the SI units if you have the dimensions in the US conventional units it is much easier to find the bottom width so top width uh, is 1.5 feet or 18 inch uh, again for PCC wall we take the recommended slope as 2 inch in 1 feet you can uh, take also the steep uh, slope okay but recommended is that it should be 2 inch in 1 feet you can also uh, take it as 1 inch in 1 feet or 1.5 inch in 1 feet okay here we are taking it 2 inch in 1 feet okay so again bottom width it will be 18 uh, inches okay uh, we are dividing this shape into the two uh, parts this is the rectangle uh, this portion is equal to 18 inch plus we have to get this portion so this will be equal simply 2 into 6 okay 2 is the slope and 6 is the height uh, of the wall so 18 plus 2 into 6 you have to take this height here in feet not in uh, not in inch because we are taking slope as two inch in one feet so for six feet slope uh, slope will be two into six okay so 
bottom width will be 18 plus 2 into 6 which is 30 inch or 2.5 feet you can see here shown in the figure okay similarly width at uh, some different depth let us take width at 3 feet depth from the top so it will be 18 plus 2 into 3 which is 24 inch or 2 feet will be the width of this wall at 3 feet from the top okay so this was for the PCC wall. Now you can also uh, find for the stone masonry wall. So here I have a stone masonry wall which is having the, the top width as 600 mm. Height is uh, 2500 mm. Okay, it's a stone masonry wall. And the mix uh, of the cement is 1 is to 3. Okay, below the wall we have a mud mate of 100 mm thick and stone soling also 100 mm thick. So top width is 600 mm for stone masonry wall recommended slope which we take is 3 inch in 1 feet okay and also uh, we take the minimum width for the stone masonry wall uh, uh, in practical situations as 600 mm that is at least 2 feet should be the minimum top width okay so for stone masonry wall recommended slope is 3 inch in 1 feet it means if we move uh, 1 feet in the uh, vertical direction so we have to move 3 inch in the horizontal direction so uh, slope is 3 inch in 1 feet okay so uh, this tan of theta here since this is uh, 1 feet and this is horizontal is 3 inch so it will be uh, 12 divided by 3 because 1 feet is equal to 12 inch okay yeah, so 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 so tan theta is equal to 4 so bottom width again it will be uh, you have to divide this figure into two parts uh, first is the rectangle and second one is the triangle so rectangle at bottom is 600 mm which is constant and this uh, width at the bottom for this triangular shape will be uh, 2500 divided by tan of theta so bottom width will be 600 plus 2500 divided by 4 which is 1225 mm will be the bottom width okay and uh, similarly width at one meter depth it will be uh, 600 plus 1000 divided by tan theta which is 600 uh, plus 1000 divided by 4 which is equal to 850 mm will be the width at 1 meter depth but from the top not from the bottom okay so we are taking the this uh, width at 1 meter depth from top okay for the next condition we have been given a stone masonry wall having the top width as uh, 2 feet and the depth of the wall as 10 feet again we have to find the uh, bottom width okay so top width is 2 feet or 24 inch uh, recommended uh, slope for stone masonry is 3 inch in 1 feet you can also take it as 3.5 inch in 1 feet or 2.5 inch in 1 feet depending on the soil conditions but recommended is 3 inch in 1 feet it keeps the wall stable okay so bottom width it will be equal to you have to divide this uh, figure into two parts this is the rectangle its bottom width will be uh, two feet or 24 inch and uh, plus this uh, base of the triangle so for one feet slope is uh, three inch or for one feet you are moving uh, horizontal three inch for 10 feet you will move in the horizontal uh, equal to 3 into 10 inch which is 30 inch so bottom width will be 24 plus 3 into 10 which is 54 inch or 4.5 feet similarly width at 4 meter depth from top it will be uh, 24 inch plus 3 into 4 which is 36 inch or 3 feet okay uh, so this is how you can uh, design a PCC or a stone masonry retaining wall if you uh, uh, if you uh, take the top width okay if you decide the top width you can calculate the bottom width okay if you know the height of the wall and uh, the uh, minimum slope okay I hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box I will try my best to help you okay uh, thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned